nice jumper there, cashmere jumper there. Need a few new blouses. That's lovely too. Oh, He's nice, right? I love a bit gaudy. Really I like that. Mega soft. Oh, that's nice. Very Isabel inspired. I love it. You get it? Hey, yeah, I like it, yeah. Right, let's try the shoes. What do you think? Yeah, they're cool. I really like those. That's really nice. That's a cool, awesome look. Hey Polly. Hello. You're gonna break the lift? No. 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 Yeah. What are we doing now? I'm gonna go film a show VT hacks for making your wardrobe a bit more organised. So you're gonna make this whole piece of content on your own? Yeah, I'm gonna try. Do you want some chocolate covered rice cakes? Are they, um... The Calo ones. It's gonna give you the energy you need to finish this VT. Um, Delicious, right? Polly Victoria Sayer, what's in your box? Well, another box, it seems. Oh it's shit, there's some fun things. So I invested my own money in these, and I've only got one wardrobe. Someone who works in fashion, it's not a lot of room. I've got these like thick wooden hangers, and you actually can't get a lot in your wardrobe with that. But these, you can fit more in, but it's because they're thinner. I've got a velvety finish, which actually is good for gripping stuff. Yeah. This is my life hat. I don't know, I feel like, oh, oh there, there we go. go. Should I be the other side of yeah, it? Yeah, like that. Or you drop it down. The space saving device. Space saving device, which is very important when you live anywhere with not a walking wardrobe you get things like this thin like spaghetti strap and they fall off i think you basically just need to do like that yay like you're sorted hanging a long dress you basically need one of these boys should we do it now it's so handy that i was drinking a diet coke as i came down i rarely ever do that yeah if you don't want to buy one of these you can just do that do this and grab a clippy hanger yeah let's do it live grab the clippy hanger the clippy hanger is going is that gonna fit through that hole shit i haven't even factored this in no it has fit it, it has fit, fit, fit yeah. 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 that in there it's amazing until i researched this on like tiktok i just never really used to do that seems like it's saying the obvious but i hope it will help some people with their organization so you lay it on the floor upside down fold it in half like so hang it the right way up like that the hook comes out the armpit folding in one side like this pull in the sleeve and then it's hard and you're not putting unnecessary stress on any part of the jumper but you can hang it in your wardrobe and i think that's tip number five hi guys i'm polly sayer she likes this junior fashion editor and i am here today to show you some wardrobe organization hacks email who would i talk to about that happy and i hello it's harry off oh, uh met gala what did you just put the top can you scroll down these were our favorite looks yeah charlotte yes Okay. No indicator, Hudson. No, not really. But there we go. Prefer a mom anyway. <laughs> what are we doing now? We're having a B2B event catch up. What are the main B2B events we do now? Well, we're putting together an agenda, running a series of events in January. This is to replace the Entrepreneurs' Day, which we used to do as one day in September. Such a fun day. I know it was a fun day, wasn't it? But anyway, in the new world of digital and virtual, we are going to do it bit by bit over the course of six months and hopefully get great people in front of more body entrepreneurs. So there's only so many people we could have that yeah. event and it always sold out. Hopefully it'll be bigger and better. So this is just the six month agenda. Remind me, where did we get to with this? Did we juggle it around or were we waiting yeah. to see what the feedback was? We haven't gone into any details with any of the speakers as to what they'd cover yet. This is us sort of pitching something forward. The guy from Farrow Ball, he bought that small thing. Yeah. I thought he was so brave on that poor guy. <coughs> I think William Chase, you were talking about him, Maya. I think really? it's just because he's from Herefordshire. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my family. See the Christmas man. Yeah. yeah. Chrissy Rocker. Or Demelier, I think she'd be really strong on establishing a premium brand. There's content. There's Selling beauty. I've got to go in 20 minutes, but should we chat to polls about? Yeah, she is. I think so. Your Entrepreneur's Day is now all online. Yes. We're going to run it as a monthly series instead. One evening a month. We'll have about an hour. Two entrepreneurs, potentially a supplier, talking about marketing, PR, social, branding, growing your database, etc. etc. And hearing from entrepreneurs that would have spoken at our entrepreneurs' event all in one day. Last year and a half or so have shown us the power and the kind of exponential potential of digital events. Asshole for me on a whole day. Always oversubscribed, it always sells out really quickly. You get to a certain size and it turns into such a beast to produce. This is really easy for us to put on. People can join from wherever they are in the country and the world. You're from brilliant, inspiring entrepreneurs who can share their stories and advice. Yeah, we're just working on the agenda and what it looks like. Lots of great people have said yes. That's as much as we can hope for right now. <laughs> Good. Hey, guys there. <laughs> hey, Summer, how are you? Welcome. I'm just opening the door, testing food. Yeah, I heard yeah. you ordered a chief taste tester. You've come <laughs> just at the right time. How are you doing? You okay? I'm good. Excuse the mess. Oh, it smells amazing in here. Does it? Thanks to you, I'm Put sure. Everything going on, the lamb in the oven, soup on the stove. I basically turned up just the right time, right? Yeah. Great. Hi, pals. What are you wearing today? Look at that. That's so much fun. Sarah Jane Templeman, what are you wearing today? Jumpsuit. Well, you can see it's a jumpsuit. Um, oh, I can't pronounce it. It's Claudie Peerless. 
Claudia Pilo. Claudia Pilo. That is it. Are you kidding me? Yeah, that's how you say it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got it under season. Well, it looks great. What are we doing today? Filming with the beautiful summer food content for the cruise. We're trying to do three dishes at the same time, so we're being very organised. Nothing's ready. It all needs to go in. Oh, so you must be starving. <laughs> I'm so hungry. Summer, what's on the menu? Spicy veg and red lentil soup. That's what that is. Ooh. You smell that? It smells so good. Slow roast lamb in the oven. But lamb's a big thing in Australia, right? Oh yeah. We yeah. Love lamb. Do you have lamb at Christmas? No, we still have the traditional right. barbie. Yeah. It's midsummer then, right? Yeah, summer, summer. we tend to have cold meat. Which, we cook it and then have them cold with salad. Which, as I remember, is your favourite season, right? Yeah. Elle, how's everything going? Yeah, really good. I mean, you know how it smells, so... It has smell good. It does smell good. And Bella's being amazing. Hi, Bella. How are you doing? Oh, yeah, I'm good, thank you. What's your role on the shoot today? Just helping out where I'm needed, dropping things. Have you got good knife skills? Yeah, not the best, but I'm trying. Well, oh, that's the most important thing. Yeah. The grocery is a work, it's so heavy. Yeah, work. Yeah. You cook and also doing some resistance training too, right? My favourite kind of cooking. I'm going to do workouts. Okay, so we need garlic and mushrooms. And what's your favourite dish of the day? Ooh. You're Welsh, you must love lamb. I do love lamb and it's yeah. Welsh lamb. I just go for whatever's at my local grocer's. Keep stirring. So we just leave them there. Salt to smell is so good. Put it on the table, people need to help themselves. There is my spicy veg and red lentil soup. Yay, oh my God, well done, honey. And how does it taste? It tastes delicious. Mm, that's good. It really is. What I love about this is I've used traditional sort of British seasonal ingredients, but then I've added Thai spices just to give it a bit of a twist. So I'm done now. Bye. Oh my god, it's so good. Oh, it's so good. It's really autumn in the bowl. Mmm. <laughs> yeah. That's so good, so wholesome. It's not bad, if I do say so myself. Where are these recipes going to be available? Give me on the show. Shellux.com slash Summer Pines Delicious Soup. Summer Pines going to have her own page, so... This is actually incredible. I'm not just saying that, it's actually so good. Time for an in-depth question. Oh no, no. What's your favourite herb? Thyme. Thyme. I know, thyme and rosemary is my favourite. Can Together. I have two? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Chilli, love chilli and garlic. Rosemary, yeah. Basil, thyme. thyme. When I roast chicken on a sendo, do lemon and thyme. Summer, what's next? The lamb is still going. For about an hour. How long is it going to be in the about five hours. Five hour lamb. So that's gonna like fall off the boat, yeah, right? It should do. Fingers crossed. It usually does, but now that we're on camera, probably won't. Got one more dish to make from scratch. We've then got to finish off the lamb. A few sides. We're gonna do it. It's fine. We're gonna get there. I'm gonna have a big glass of wine after this. Putting it out there, everyone. All my herbs. I'm just gonna add a little bit of olive oil. So I'm just gonna mix all this. And I'm gonna put this in the oven. Do you consider yourself a bit of a chef, Hodge? Got my own dinner party dish. Uh, Starter, main course, dessert. What are you making well, for me? I do starters. I do more like sharing bit. Okay. Sharing bit, main, and dessert. What are you going for? Oh, and figs, I'm a ham, rocking bits. Like a smorgasbord. Exactly. And then I do a slow roast pork belly, my best dish. What kind of flavours you put with it? Orange peel, garlic cloves underneath, and loads of salt on top, four hours, so good. What's for dessert? I'm not great at pudding. I usually cheat pudding, pretend I've made it. <laughs> Deconstructed banoffee pie. I get the banoffee pies from Marks and Spencers, and then I put them in glasses, mix it in, and then cream, and then grate mm. chocolate on top. Like, oh my god. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna cook you my chicken cider herb hot pot. I'm already prepared some of the vegetables, warm and comfy perfect for this season. <laughs> Brown chicken pieces, some butter, meat. crisp up on the outside but you still get that nice fall away meat. The smell is so good. And look at this, it's perfect. Falling off the bone, pull it like this. And look how amazing all that meat is. Mm. Oh my god. It looks good, right? It looks so good. How does it taste? Oh my god. Is that good? Which you're gonna have to have some. Should I feed you? Wow, that's quite quite a lot. Okay, here we go. Oh that's as good, isn't it? Melt in the mouth. That is the dream. Wow. Hey, what do you think? Happy? Mm hmm I'm really happy. Yeah, yeah. That more perfect. How was the second bit? Who's the first? <laughs> How did that go? So good. She's such a professional. And delicious food. She makes everything so easy. She's really inspired me to go home and cook. Can I come? Yes. <laughs> Lou, what are we doing now? Going to an SMA man shoot. Hi, we're on route. Okay, fab. Um, I saw your message and you were like, oh, we can, oh, we can hang. Like, I meant hang up because I've got the I've got yeah. a rail anyway. Cool. I reckon we'll be half an hour. Yeah, yeah, I've got to say. Okay. See All right, you. bye. So, where are we going now? We are on our way to the SL man. Seiko watch shoot. We're shooting three <laughs> watches from their new Presage collection. We've got Charlotte's friend Ali modelling them and we've got a fancy London hotel suite to shoot it in. You know, a gentleman getting ready for work, coming home from work, got a cool like penthouse apartment. So it's gonna look good. And Mark Sanders who shot the husband, husband shoot. shoot who is amazing is shooting it so we're in very capable hands. Hi we're just downstairs would you mind possibly helping with the bags? Hey! Hello. Hola! How are you? Yeah very well how are you? Good thanks. How has your money been? It's been nice to be back at work. Oh, it's been lush this year, yeah. if I'm honest. Yeah, it's been great. Well, hello. Hi. This is Ali, this is 
Lee and this is Rich. Hey Ali, how are you doing? I'm good, how are you? Yeah, great. Great to meet you, man. You're the model for the day. Well, like the mannequin. The mannequin for the day. The mannequin. Look, you very kindly sent us some goodies for this. Who did? Bennett Witch. They happen to be a friend of Polly's. They do really, really, really good overnight bags. If you ever look in the market for an overnight bag, this is the brand to know. Oh, it's Oh, that is nice. Look at him. Yeah, no, their suits are so nice. Overnight? I mean, that's... That's not an overnight bag. I was going to say, that's a 25-minute bag. Yeah, yeah, that's a work bag, but just need an overnight bag for uh, would you look for in a good watch, Ali? Not a lot of silver. You don't like silver? For a special yeah, yeah, occasion, I'd bear something yeah, gold yeah, and silver. Leather watch, something subtle. Range is this the Bizarre. cocktail? Watch What's your favourite cocktail? I like a whiskey sour or an old fashioned. I like something whiskey based. You don't mind the raw egg? Yeah, I was going to say margarita and check myself because that, that seems good. What's wrong with margarita? Delish. Oh, Christian totally French. delish. As a favourite cocktail, I'd for a special it. occasion. What's the product that Ali's going to be wearing? Obviously, the focus is the watches. The idea is to kind of to give as much light as possible to the watches and to make it as interesting and as as possible to keep it mixed up outfit wise. So it's a sort of day in the life theme. So there's a morning getting ready for work, shirt on, reading the paper. There's a suit with an overcoat and an off for the work day thing. And then there's a chilled evening, obviously polo, chinos. Maybe we do the overcoat one outside then. So it's really random though, you should just have one look outside. You can, see, you can totally see some pools right here. So if we've seen a bit of that, yeah. and then a whiskey in the evening. Yeah. Or did we say coffee? Paper, and then whiskey. I might ask them if they've got a cut glass. Quite nice light there, whether we did anything really so you see a little bit of less space. Yeah, I think it'd be nice. I don't know if you want to see. Maybe even for the morning, you know, checking a few emails. Are these what? watches throughout the day? Is this the yeah. morning, afternoon, uh, evening? Same morning, maybe that way around. Great. There you go. Thank you. Yeah. Look number one. Have fun. Yeah. Bye, Ali. How's it? Yeah. Cool, we are. Sock variations as well. Socks aren't through my sock game today. Don't you worry. <laughs> you want me to stay still or shall I? Um, just hold there for a second. Condensation on the old glasses. Nice touch. Ooh. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Ooh. I was just seeing my glasses. You've got to be very delicate with that, Charlotte. I know, sorry. I was like... <laughs> Third degree burns. <laughs> Ali, how's your shoot going? Oh. How do you prepare for it psychologically? A few of these. How That's long cool. have you known you've had beautiful hands? Since yesterday, when Charlotte. I, actually, it's not something anyone's ever said. How's the shoot going? Really, really good. good. I run the first look. I'm ready for work. It's, good. I think, quarter to eight. Yes. Ali's got his coffee. Yeah, turn around the window. Yeah, it's good. You know the George Kennedy. <laughs> it's like an espresso. <laughs> <Exactly. I don't>. <laughs> <laughs> I love that one. Ali, come have a look at them. Um, I think maybe let's do the other up. inside one here yeah, now, and then yeah, yeah. we'll go out. Yep, yep. You, sure you didn't try the sizes, did you? Uh, did you try these when I went No, not, but I think large. Right, I think large is better. What's up next? We're jumping straight from the morning to the evening. 12 hour clock, it's probably Sorry, 10 past eight now. 12 hour clock, really? I said 12 hour clock. different kind of clock. 24 hour clock. Not digital. Rich said it made sense. Rich said it made sense. Do you make, like, had a massive go at me the other day for having 12 hour clock on my phone? Oh, do you? That annoys me, yeah. Yeah. So at 3 pm, it's at 3. Not 03, just says 3. Yeah, no, you can't do that. That means three o'clock yeah. in the morning. That's painful, that is. Yeah, that's absolutely dreadful. No, I just find it easier. What are we thinking, guys? Yeah, it's great. Amazing. I don't know. Do you enjoy shooting watches? I love shooting watches. Oh, you do really? Yeah. I'd say about 50% of my portfolio at the moment is watches, so yeah, I do enjoy shooting. Fine. Fine. A bit tight, but it's fine. Do you want to try, try the new one? Pinky looks a bit pronounced. Ooh, I don't know how to deal with that. <laughs> <laughs> you're, like, you're pointing it a little bit. How's that? Yeah, yeah, that's better. They're pronounced pinkies, thanks. It's a family show. <laughs> <laughs> do you like what this watch colour does for my tan? Good, that's what matters. Oh. Maybe just don't drop your thumb. Yeah, your thumb is quite high. Yeah. yeah, it's much better. Do you want to just move your top ever so slightly just so it's not covered? Yeah, there you go. This is cocktail hour, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's your favourite cocktail? I'm sure, I've asked you a million times. Mine's really boring, a Bellini. Peach. And I like a dark and stormy. I would always rather have wine over a cocktail, though. Emery, what's your cocktail of choice? Cosmo. Cocktail, cocktail. Very, very dirty vodka martini. What does dirty mean? Salt, Salt water. It's made of the olive brine, oh. so it's like a salty. Do you do oh, what, sorry, a mezcal. Margarita. Do you do mezcal? Oh. Nice. Smoky. Oh, I love like a chipotle margarita. Put your thumb round the handle, Ali, rather than on it. Edge of the bed. What's he going to yeah. be doing at the edge of the bed? I think just sat, like just like that, like you were just, if you just, just got changed. changed. Mark, what's your favourite cocktail? Snake watch. <laughs> In black or no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Got to have the black. Snake it's snake half snake lager, snake. half cider <laughs> in a pint glass. It's very chic. Oh, yeah. so it's <laughs> I think that's a test, isn't it? If you've never heard of a snake bite, you're probably a nice guy. This guy, I sort of know, not really. But anyway, his drink of choice is half red wine, half vodka. Oh. Who the hell is this guy? Oh, he's got a place near my parents in York, like, so we didn't know him, know him, but he'd just turn up to this barbecue and, like, once a year and have red wine and vodka. I had this moment where I refused to drink spirit on a night out. I can tell everyone, everyone was drinking vodka and I had a beer, so everybody would pour vodka in my beer. Oh. And you never noticed it because vodka just sort of gets washed out. Vodka in a beer? You taste, I would taste vodka in a beer, I'm sure. I think you would, but maybe not after like your... Yeah, yeah, sure. Past 10.30, maybe not. You don't like that, aren't the issues if you're going to put it on? Maybe ditch the other hand. Finger in. <laughs> yeah, it's like, look, I can put a whole finger in there. Charlotte, where are we today? So we're at the Bankside this Hotel, so which, as you can see, has wonderful views of London. Yeah, look at that. Having a very zen, lovely time here. It's very quiet here, isn't it? Yeah. Very chill yeah. in here, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Great views. Very quiet. Great location. Right. Very stylish. What more could you ask for? Yeah. 
Cheers. That's a whiskey, yeah? Well, it looks good, that one. It looks really good, yeah. I'd buy that whiskey. Well, it's it's some watches, not whiskey. I'd buy that watch. <laughs> How's look number two looking? It looks great, got there in the end. Like, that's what all men should wear to lounge around the house. <laughs> I think it's a very good <laughs> chill outfit. Very cool. Final one. Look number two done? Yep, that was actually look number three. Right. Now we're going back to number okay, two. Sorry, is that your shirt? Is that... This is mine. This one's mine. Oh, you've got oh, two. Mine, right. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, it's so hot. Oh. Oh. This is like off the airplane heat. Yeah, it's yeah. That's really weird. Yeah, that's so nice. Really nice, yeah. I don't think we wanted to feel too suddenly randomly outside. So no. To avoid the greenery. How's this final look looking, Charlotte? Yeah, great. I love it when one just clicks and is, and every image just looks. I mean, look at that. So smart. Just get your arm dropped down a little bit. I think we've got it. Yeah. yeah. Woohoo! We got it. Is that a wrap? Yay! That's a wrap. How was that? That was great. We never necessarily know how a shoot, you know, you have your vision and you bring in all the right people, but you never actually know how it's going to pan out. And it was perfect. What happens next? Wait to get the images back from Mark, make our selects, have a slight edit, and then I'll go to the brand. Do you think the brand are going to be happy with it? I think they're going to be thrilled with it. Thanks so much. See you later. Good morning, Georgia Courage Cole. How are you? Wow. What a day. Amazing. What a I don't day. know if I should be in the summer dress. I'm feeling quite wintry. Anyway, here we are. We're on the King's Road, which I think seems very, probably feels a bit repetitive, but anyway, we're not here for the King's Road. We're here for the shop. Just want to go in store, see what's new. It's always quite helpful at the beginning of new season to get in there. I haven't been in store for ages. I want to have a quick scout, see what there is, see what the trends are. It's really quite interesting because you see repetition in each store which gives you a bit of clarity. Quick recce, I've literally got two hours. Hey, the sun is shining, it's hot. It's a beautiful day, summer is not yet finished. I know and I'm just the winter. Where are we going first? We're going to Claudie Piello first. Yeah, let's do it. Watch this epic jumpsuit that she was wearing us from here. Yeah, I know, yeah. What have you found? Really nice jumper, like cashmere jumper. I need a few new blouses. That's lovely too. Nice, right? I like that. Yeah, really nice. Oh, it's hot today. Look at that. Isn't that nice? This is around a lot, but it doesn't look great on me. That ring zippy thing. It's a bit sporty. Too sporty? For me a little bit, yeah. I like it on other people. Look. I'm seeing a lot of pink, that makes me really happy. Oh, look at that little crop blazer suit. That's lovely, except it's brown. I can't wear brown. Oh, He's nice, right? I've got a pink cardi. I've got a few pink cardies, but that's really nice. I think you probably got one of nearly everything, right? Yeah, probably. No. You actually need a new white flower, so. Do I? Yeah. You, you get any more to do the same ones, Rich? I am. That's it, and more of a hot pen. That's really nice. I mean, white blouses does a gal need. Yeah, I look at my wardrobe and I'm like, I need some more white top. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. That's a bit different. Some boho vibes going on. That's lovely. Do you want me to open a fitting one? Yes, please. Yeah, it's a very nice one. I've seen it on the like really customer. Nice. Like, yeah, not ready for the cofa. Not today, Fofa, not very today. Nice. nice. Nice jumpers in here. Yeah, that's really nice. That's really nice. That's lovely. Isn't that just dreamy? Is that new season? <laughs> yes, everything is new season now. I have something very like this, but that is really a lovely, lovely one, isn't it? That's nice. Not with pink underneath. What are you wearing up? This quilted jacket. It's really lovely. It's something about quilting that's just so cozy and nice to wear. From the market for a transitional quilted jacket. I'd say that's a pretty good one. That's really nice. For dinners in the evening. Really like that. Mega soft. Oh, that's nice. It's very Isabel inspired. I know I've used it. I was talking about. I love the shoulder. Drop shoulder and then it goes out and it's kind of full sleeve. Very cool. Oh, that's nice. What do you call that? Aztec. Drop shoulders with a button. Oh, and it's not itchy. It's a bit cropped. Everything's a bit cropped, isn't it? How do you feel about crop knits? I'm good about crop knits like that. Great colour, right? Yeah, it's a nice actually. Really nice. I like the neck. It's not pretty, but it's a neck. Yeah. What's your pick of the store? This one. What size was this? This is a size two. I really like this. And that is a 38. And was the size two? Yeah. It's a nice jacket. Yeah, you need a new blazer. I think I prefer yeah. the aggressive, but it's nice. Yeah, what was your pick of the store? That cardigan. This jump is great. Thank you so much. Enjoy You're your trip to Holy Polo. I did. What did I get in here last season? Something. Yeah, it was the. Oh, my uh, jacket. The jacket, yeah. Oh. That was a good buy. Where next? Bash? For sure. Kind of a sparkle theme. They love the metallic threads. Love that. Nice. Key coat ready though? Definitely not. It's cool, I like that. Look, the Aztec. I have this in blue. I absolutely love it in the winter. You can wear it forwards or backwards, right? For dinner. Great. Dinner top in the winter. With, like really sparkly heels. I bought that one for my wife. What colour? That one. I think oh, it was slightly color. more pink. Yeah, yeah this is slightly rosier. Yeah. That's really nice. Look, it comes in black too. That's a really nice coat. There's a lot of Breton jumpers around. Oh, oh that's, that's nice. nice. It's not a herringbone. It's like a tweed. That is such a nice coat. Oh, that's Oh, I love that. Drop shoulders and it's boxy and cropped. It's really nice. I mean, it's pretty transitional. I love it. You get it? Hey, yeah, I like it. Yeah. So, what's your pick of the store? That grey coat, I like it a lot. And I've lived in my one of these. Oh, it's getting hotter and hotter. Zadig? Yeah. Yeah? Let's do it. I'm wearing my Zadig blouse. Oh, yeah, didn't you buy that last time we did one of these? Yeah, they're cool. I really like those. No, I wear those. They're 39. Yeah, today, yeah. 
When does a boot get too chunky? When it's from the row. When it's from the row. Sorry, Polly. You can handle a Bottega, but not a row. They're pretty chunky too. I just, that zip, not for me. That's nice. And that's this silk again in black. Yeah, they are expensive. What's the price point? 280. Whoa. It's a lot. I promise they do last the season. Pretty. Party season coming up, right? Oh, it's still wedding season. Right, let's try the shoes. What do you think? Yeah, they're cool. I really like those. Yeah, what are the other large boots you've got? Where are they from? I can't remember where they're from. Are like, they Utakai? Something like that. Yeah, I think they are. I think those are really cool. The skinny jeans. I like the thick laces with like a skinny. What does that mean? It's the Voltaire's fault. Voltaire's fault. Flame Voltaire. Flame Voltaire. That's really nice. That's a cool autumn look. Good shoes. <laughs> yeah, slamming shoes. I didn't have you down as a Radiohead fan. I'm not really, but it's a good shoe. They're really cool boots. That is cool. I love those boots. Are you noticing any trends at the moment? What's everywhere? It doesn't feel like fully autumn winter. Does it? I love those boots. You know, I might get those boots. French connection? Ooh, leather. I don't know about that. I don't know. It's kind of a leather shacket, really, yeah, isn't it? It is. It is. It's cute. Oh, you've got a really nice thing. How lovely is that? You've got some really nice things. That's fab. Where's the fishing room? Downstairs. Nice. Into it? Yeah. I'm really into it. I love things like this, as you know. I love the smocking. I really like that. And what's the price point? 75. Really nice. What are you wearing now? A cream jumper. I'm just like stop traffic. You know, everyone needs a cream jumper. Yeah, definitely. This is the leather. Nude leather jacket. What do you think? I don't know how I feel about nude leather. It's kind of like wearing another layer of skin, right? I love it. No, if I had to wear it, I could wear it. It's really soft. I don't mind it, you know. I don't mind it either. What are you wearing now? A jumper. I really, really, really like the jumper. Really comfy. It's really springy. It feels quite like it's Stories in it were. 85 quid. Stuff. What's up about that? Love it, love it, love it. Do Zara and Stories. I'd like a juice. A Joe and the juice or an Itsu? Which one do you fancy? Joe and? We're here. We're going to go for it. Can I have an Iron Man? Oh no, can I have a hell of a nerve? Is that good? Uh, yeah, can I get a go away dog, please? Georgie and Rich. How's the taste? Maybe miss a bit of sugar before the detox starts. Yeah. It's good. You? Yeah, great. Fuck it, talk. It is, isn't it? What have you spotted, Georgie? Candy, I didn't know they were there. Oh, look, on the blue. In the grey. Grey. Nice, I like that. I'm not really into green. You need to be in here with Heather. Really. Heather, yeah. She's a, she's a big fan. fan. But uh, everyone likes a bit of Ganny, don't you? Yeah, I know, I know. I love my Ganny fans. Oh, I yeah. love that. That's really pretty. Cool. That's nice. That would look nice with those Zadiga Valter boots. Yeah, it would. It would go with a lot as well, right? Nice with knee high boots, nice with leathers. It needs like a chunky boots. And I know I have my size. You get the idea, right? Yeah. Really nice. Really nice. Not with this shirt. With like a t shirt. It's really cool. I'm really like that. That's definitely in my top three today. Oh, really? Yeah. What are your other two? Sounding a Volta boots, French connection frilly jumper, French connection white blouse. It's really nice with the smocking. I like that Claudy black cardigan. It was like 300 quid, you can get one of those in stories, I reckon. Stories? Rude not to. Nice. That's really nice. Really like that. Oh, I have similar cardigan to this I get asked about all the time. All the season. Anyway, we got this one in. Even softer than mine. It's a nice little shirt. Cheap. They're nice. Oh, they've done them in cream. I really like them. Rustin Bromley? Yeah. Oh, here we go. Oh, I like those. I didn't know they've done them in white. They're a really good boot. I think Charlotte's got the black. They are cool. They are really cool. I like those for my outfit now. Yeah, it's quite fun. Give me a bit of a Karl Lagerfeld vibe now. Yeah. Love those. Love their boots. All right, where are we going now? Let's through Cos. We're going to hit Friday next week. I was just going through the file and it had some really nice jumpers. Ah. This is that white dress I bought here. Oh, yeah, I remember that, yeah. Such a great buy. I wore it loads this summer. Yeah. This is really nice. Cashmere, 195. Look Ooh. how chunky it is. It's quite a lot of cashmere there, right? It's quite thick. Really nice. Substantial cashmere, right? Yeah, that's really, really bloody nice. Love that. Oh, wow, that is cashmere. What's the price point? 195. Really chunky. It's really nice. Nice. Thing. I'm not gonna try this one because I'm running out of time and energy. But nice cashmere in cold. How did that go? And what were your top three things? It's pretty warm today. I'm not feeling all that ready to buy knitwear, but we've seen some great stuff. My top three things, God, I'm trying to go back now. Things I liked in Claudie. I really like that black cardigan. I really like that like Aztec jumper. My favourite of the boots, the Zadig and the Russell and Bromley boots, I thought were excellent. And that Ganny jumper's cool. Yeah, yeah, lots of great stuff. The French connection was great. Anyway, I gotta go. What are you doing now? I'm going to my brother's. Registry. Have an amazing time. Thanks. Yeah. See you on Bye. Good afternoon, guys. How are you? Good. How are you? I am great. It's a beautiful day, right? Oh my god, what a lovely day. I keep thinking it's autumn, but then it's just not, is it? No. It's quite warm, but yeah. it's yeah. a treat to have some sun. Isn't it? it is. It is. Winter's yeah. coming. Yeah, it's true. Enjoy the In sunshine. The words of John Snow. Yeah. yeah, literally. <laughs> what are we doing today? Fashion week. It's fashion week. It's fashion week. It's so squeaky. So high pitched. <laughs> <laughs> 
it does feel really special. It's so nice to just feel so normal and be doing yeah. normal work things. We've got a jam packed day for you. What's on the agenda? We're here outside the Boohoo head offices. We've got two separate events here. First, attending a warehouse event. Then, Debenhams yeah. are doing a kind of fashion week. Blow dry, like manicures, tattoos. Are you getting a tattoo? I'm tempted, you know. And then we're going to head on to the Rixo presentation this afternoon. Oh, it sounds like a fun, it's fun afternoon. You guys Rixo fans? Yeah, yeah. big Rixo fans. Polly repping the brand today. Polly Victoria Sayer, what are you wearing today? Rixo dress, vintage jacket, grey boot, and Prada handbag. Charlotte Lay Collins, what are you wearing today? We're Friday the Studio suit, Chanel bag, the Hervé trainers. And these are by a brand called Astero. What are they? Cool. The only thing I say is these are a bit like blinkers. I can't quite see. Like when I was crossing the road, I was a bit like, oh shit. Should we head in? Let's go inside. What do you see? Look at that. So they've collaborated with the British Museum. It's with a specific artist. This is Key Info. Who's the artist? Hey. Cool. British Museum in partnership with Mary Delaney. She's an artist from the 18th century, so she made collages that look like paintings. So if you look really, really close to the prints, they do kind of look like collages. So I decided to sort of take in those paintings and interpret it, put them off the warehouse customer, and imprinted on those gorgeous signs. Cool. That dress is unreal. Mary Delaney, well done. She's not alive anymore, but... If she was, so she'd love this, I'm sure. Hello, Christina. Winter's coming out on October 14th. Wow. What have we got here? Final trench. Final. Final. There we go. Yeah. 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 Can I ask what the price point is? It starts at around sixty pounds. Highest price point would be the trench coat, about one hundred and twenty. Still very affordable. Very affordable. Yeah, I just love the shape of that. So much. Yeah. Cute, Polly. That's nice, right? It's quite a big collection, isn't it? Very much enjoying all the vinyl. Is that the same again? If you want a good floral dress, warehouse. And a great price point as well, right? Yeah, really good price point. I like that. Is green a thing? This Kermit green is so in. But actually, I think that can be very elegant for a wedding. I'm into that as well. Bring on the sequins. When does sequins season start for real? Yeah. November. Post Halloween. That is so pretty. Charlotte, what is your pick of the collection? Oh, it's this. I think this dress is beautiful. Very autumnal. Polly, what's your pick? I know it's basic, but those vinyl trousers are fucking sick. Wowzers. Where are we now? We are downstairs in the Boohoo offices at the Debenham Fashion Week event. I mean, there's a lot going on. It's a sensory overload. We've got lots of different brands as well. These, do you know what? I actually think those are unbelievable. They're cool to try them on and they're amazing. What would be the price point on those? 180 would be my guess. No, sorry, they're not warehouse. Warehouse do appear exactly the same and they're like probably under the boot. Do you know what? I actually quite rate caramel at the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good boot. Did you know you could get caramel in the Debenham? I did not, you know. I did not need these. You find someone who works here so we can inquire about a tattoo. I think there's a way Polly, put your name down. I have put my name down. Here it is. Exciting. How's your pain threshold? Where is it? I think I'm pretty good at withstanding pain, and I've had a couple of snaps before. It's not that painful. I think it depends on where you get it. Have you ever had a tattoo? Yeah, I was drunk. Okay, <laughs> yeah, I just remember it feeling like a tiny little scalpel. Like that. that doesn't sound ideal. No, it doesn't, does it? Fuck it up. That's what I want to say. Where are we going now? There's a bit of a queue for the tattoo, so we're going to go have some lunch, come back for the tattoo, and then head to Rick's. All in a day's work. This day's just getting better and better. Paul, <laughs> what can you see on the menu? I'm really into like squid, yumi, octopus. So there's like a squid and chorizo salad, which sounds like a bit of me, with lime and quince dressing. Oh, yeah. I actually might have that. Charlotte, what are you going to go for? I might go for the tuna tartar. Oh, delicious. Yeah. I might go tuna tartar as well. Oh, it's great. What a lovely passage. Very nice. Oh, that's good. It's a good, a good red. What have you got here? What is this? This is the goodie bag that came with Warehouse event. Great goodie bag. I got a room spray. Say is that a room spray? It's, it's a eau de parfum. Oh, it's a, it's really a good. red lipstick. It's so hard to come by a good red. And that, that looks like, like the real deal, no? Diet Coke, please. These may have the tuna tartar, squid and chorizo salad, some panko halloumi. Tuna tartar. That looks so good. I'm a bit jealous. now. squid and chorizo salad with a skewer of halloumi. Oh, you've absolutely nailed that. I think panko I have halloumi. So good. What have you got? Chin cha cha, same as you. I'm around. Taste it really? Yeah, I taste it. It's really good. Yeah, happy? Uh, sensational. Sensational. Wow. I love it when you get something good. Oh my god, this is great. We've got crispy lots of it. All about crispy onions. Thank you, Riding House Cafe, for being so great. Thank you. Thank you for making an awful afternoon bearable. How's it taste? I'm around. I'm going to make some kind of spicy sauce. You're going to like it. Guys, how was that? Sublime, I would say. Sublime. Yeah. Really that good? It was actually really, really good. I would eat that 10 times. Yeah, 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 thank you so much. What's happened, Too many people ahead in the queue. No tattoo today? No tattoo today. I think it wasn't meant to be. Sometimes things don't work out. So. All right, so what are we doing now? We're going to hop on the tube, head to Rickson. Okay, guys, where are we now? Barbican Conservatory. Nice, right? There's a lot of leafy greens. And what are we here to do? The Rickson presentation. We're excited. Uh, Spring, summer, baby. I reckon there'll be some branching out, actually. Let's yeah. see what we're going to next. Should we go and find out? Yes. What have you got right there? My COVID passport. So you, are, the future. so you can come in, right? I can come in, can you? Let's find out. Hi. Hey, Tristan, how are you doing? How are you doing? You okay? I'm good, thanks. Hello. Great. Thanks so much. Oh my gosh. 
Happy days. Ooh, I'm way down here. We've got a one way to Charlotte, nice to meet you, Iona. I'm looking after the Rick's Take Music. We'd love to get a photo. I'm really sure. good. Just a nice photo okay. moment here. Sure. Lovely to meet you, Iona. Such a good Yeah, I've been here once for a It's cool. Nailed it, guys. Nailed it. Love it. Do you like Mariachi? Singing, that? Yeah, but they're singing Roll Out the Barrel. Mariachi Sorry. East End and London. <laughs> Getting all this content. Hey, Pauls. <laughs> This is all up. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet Hi. you. Congratulations. What's new with the new collection? It's always going to be like Tree Rixel style, like vintage inspired. The main thing for us is a real celebration, not just about event dressing. We really wanted to get across it. It was stuff that people would wear during the day as well. Everyone wants to just dress nice seven days so a week. As you go further on, you'll so. see some gorgeous like denim, linen pieces. The collection's called Bon Voyage, so it's very holiday themed, so perfect yeah. for next summer. We've always got our inspiration from things that we love, so it was all like old souvenir scarves from holidays. Yeah. We'd always loved them. We just thought it was so unfitting. Is there a hero piece? Maybe even this one behind yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's a new one for us. Derived from a bridal collection, and then we turned it into a more easy beach kind of look. New print and new fabrication, and that's what's really made a difference. Well, it looks amazing. Yeah. Would you go around and see the rest You'll of You'll see this? more. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's warm, right? Really steamy. Yeah. So keep walking. Yeah, let's go. It's a voyage of discovery, this. Bon voyage. Bon voyage of discovery. And they've nailed the brief. Like we're kind of on like a lazy river, you know? Yeah. Just drifting along. Rich, how cool are these chairs? They're very cool. <laughs> this is quite a sweet deal where you get to stop and sit down. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Beautiful. Very nice. I've had worse days, to be fair. Oh, What's happening now? Hit stop for a drink. What a lovely day we've had. Yeah. I just did a little yeah. thing yesterday for sheer luck. Oh, what did you do? What I'm wearing. I haven't been like massive autumn shopping yet. Kind of deciding what I want to buy. What have this tree and my favourite Britney Spears song got in common? Toxic. Oh, do you like Lillian yes. Colada? Uh, what Colada? A Luna Colada. A Luna coconut rum. Oh, delicious. With fresh lime, pineapple juice, and coconut water. I would love an Aluna Colada. Help yourself. Merci beaucoup. That is holiday, isn't it? Cheers. Okay. How's your Aluna Colada? Delicious. Yeah, I'm into it. Are you? Mm. Good. Holly, do a cheers for our vlog. 100%. Ready? Cheers. cheers. I've nailed mine. You have. There's another bar. Yeah. Rick's are keeping us hydrated every step of the way. Oh, look at that. You definitely got the best job today, didn't you? Happy Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Well, they're that beautiful. Sometimes you have yeah, to swear. Yeah, I bet you get a lot of compliments on that. Back. It's red in photos, which is so oh, sad. No. I know, I know, but it's so amazing. What colour is that? Coral. Dark coral. It's dark coral. Red. All right, sorry. Jesus Christ. <laughs> what do we have here? Mouthy gin, grapefruit with a tonic. Gin tonic, really, but with grapefruit flavour. It's very nice. Please enjoy. Should you go for one? Cheers, salut. Are you having fun? Yeah, What's not to like, right? It's been the best. Location's great. I know. Have you been here before? Yeah, um, but not like this. Not with a drink in my hand. <laughs> yeah. What do you think of these guys? They're both beautiful. I love this guy. Having fun? I'm having lots of fun. Come back. Where are they? Yeah. Oh, great. I feel like this is an excursion I'd pay for on holiday. <laughs> Where have we arrived at now? The final destination on the Rixo exotic tour. How was the tour? Gorgeous. I'm sorry, I'm very warm. It is a glass house. Everyone looks sensational and I want everyone. And every dress? Yeah. If they could sort that out, that'd be great. I'll make a call. What are we looking at right now? This is the final three models. That dress in the middle, I think, is particularly beautiful. It's the perfect summer dress. It's so pretty and wafty. The one on the left is my favourite. Yeah, I really love that collar. Quirky, isn't it? 50s tea dress. Yeah. Modern version. Gorgeous. Her hair is amazing. How did that go? So lovely. What a cool way. What a modern way to modern do way. fashion show. I mean, it was a presentation, but really refreshing and different. Felt very friendly, right? Quite relaxed. Yes. Good drink stations spread around yeah. the place as well. Ten minute walk around the three bars. What's not to do that? I had a great time. Great. We all had a great time. The dresses were insane. I've got plenty on my wish list. Thanks very much, guys. I'll see you next week. See you, see you next week. Bye. Have a good weekend.